I wanted to share about this card that is in your worship guide this morning. And uh, so much is going on. I mean, Jacob shared earlier, I hope you'll read everything that's going on and, and get involved. But coming up uh, two Wednesdays from today is our kickoff for uh, Hope Student Ministries and also for Edge, which is fourth and fifth graders. And I wanted to tell you about a philosophy shift that's going to be starting this year. I want to uh, be, um, uh, hopefully you'll share this as I share it today. But we have a little bit of a philosophy shift going on on Wednesday night with our 6th through 12th grade ministry. Last spring, we began asking questions. How can we do the very best job of helping students engage Christ and grow in Christ? And what we recognize is that essentially, we're asking students to be involved in three things. Worship, group, and serving. And we evaluated what we were doing. We were asking students to worship a lot. We're asking them to come on Wednesday night, have a full band, have a sermon, have a closing song, and it looked a whole lot like Sunday morning. And then we're asking students to come again on Sunday morning and essentially go to worship twice a week. At the end of Wednesday night, we had group time, but it's, it's limited. It was small, and then service time was pretty random. So what we're trying to do is help students engage that full scope of what it means to be a follower of Jesus Christ. So on Wednesday night, we're going to shift our focus where the dominant part of what we're doing will be with group time or discipleship time. There'll still be fun and games and there'll still be a little bit of music, but the dominant time will be groups, but it won't look exactly like Sunday morning. And so we're inviting students to make Sunday morning your primary worship time and hopefully your primary serve time. Now, in the midst of that, we recognize that because students were basically entering the same environment two times a week, that they had become a little bit dismissive of Sunday morning. In fact, we've had students that would come and, and sort of say, well, that's not for me, that's for mom and dad. My church is on Wednesday night, and they would want to hang out in the lobby or maybe go out back and play basketball or something like that. So we're asking parents to partner with us in helping direct students to worship on Sunday morning two fun worship groups on Wednesday night, and then also to a place of service. Next week, Sign Up Sundays begins, and we believe that every 6th through 12th grader could find a place to serve on a serve team alongside adults. And so, ideally, our students would be involved in Wednesday night, and then on Sunday morning, would worship one service and then serve at another service. I know everything's not ideal, but uh, if everybody participated in worship plus service plus growing, we just think um, we would all grow and our church uh, would thrive. So that's a, a shift we wanted to share with you. That'll be coming. Uh, leaders, you'll meet uh, with Michael next Sunday. He'll share more about that. And then I know we'll be sharing with the students as the first couple of weeks get going.